Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at yet another Half-Life 2 mod, this is the HMS Defiance. Uh, unlike some of the other mods I have looked at previously, I didn't download this because of its apparent quality. If I remember, this looks kinda bad. But hey, that's its own kind of fun, right? Alright, we've got an HEV suit to start off with. This looks like a really old source mod, just from how blocky everything looks. A lot of sharp edges. Alright, well, since we didn't exactly get the story layout here, uh, basically, there was the HMS Defiance, an old destroyer that disappeared in 1942. It's now 2008, and the destroyer has reappeared. Sort of an Event Horizon situation. And we're sent here to investigate it. We're not actually on the, def the Defiance right now. We're on a cruiser next to it. This looks like it should be the commander's office. Maybe that's the... Oh god. Let's not get crushed by the automatic doors. I'm noticing there's a distinct absence of other people on this ship. Not even anyone in the security room. Glad you decided to show up. Right, we've been sent to this region to mount a very important expedition. Today, we will be investigating the long-lost HMS Defiance. Now, I've decided to pick you as the first person to go down to the Defiance. At the minute, it would seem diving gear is unnecessary. Scans show that the pressure and oxygen levels down there are bearable. Also, water levels are very low. It would appear that the ship didn't let Most much water in. Most of the cruiser in. is intact, which makes it for an interesting salvage. We will launch you down, and then you can bring anything of interest back. You will probably need to get some protective gear on and a flashlight. It'll likely be dark down there. Good luck. You know, Commander, with a voice like that, how can I not be inspired by you? Wait, so are we... Are we on board the Defiance? Because this just looks like a moldy apartment building. Including the concrete here under the floorboards. Apparently our mission is just to collect artifacts. Are these artifacts pages? Do we need to collect eight of them? Alright, so we can't get through out here without a crowbar. Where did that even come from? Hmm. We have a bad case of ceiling legs. And whatever the fuck these are. I guess these aren't artifacts, though, because we can't pick them up. I shouldn't have activated the blood fountain. I'm not sure why I thought that would work, because there isn't really any logic behind it, but it did. I guess that blood fountain makes us transparent for a couple seconds. It's a ghost fountain. A lot of these doggy dishes lying around.
All right, so instead of a uh, instead of a crowbar, we got a World War II officer's sword. You know, I'm pretty sure when a ship is underwater and it's deteriorating, it doesn't sound like it's exploding. Especially if it's in shallow water, there isn't a huge amount of pressure acting on it. Nope. I guess that was a new level. Uh, okay, we teleported? Did we return to our ship? I guess we did, but this is like the diving deck. Hmm, what could this untextured mystery be? I think it's a shotgun. But I've never seen a shotgun that just looks like two pipes attached to a piece of blue plastic. Oh my god, everyone is a headcrab zombie without the headcrabs. That was kind of anticlimactic. So this shotgun is super overpowered and really slow. I guess we can't access the core. What the hell is this supposed to be? Is this just a wooden cutout of a gun? Super slow mo. Is this the gun they gave me after I did a desk pop? Because <laughs> I wasn't allowed to have a real gun? Also, what was in here other than shotgun shells? You know, the fact that they use a lot of concrete textures for inside the ship, too, makes me wonder if this person has ever seen the inside of a ship. More unnecessary slow mo than killing floor. What do we got installed here? We got Steam, and that's the only icon I recognized. Oh, is that Half-Life at the bottom there? Ah, that is a resilient monitor. Well, I guess we better walk into the vortex. This is the security office, isn't it? Where they have a picture of a blender. Is that a blender? I don't know what that is. I think there must be something in there that I missed. Whatever that is. Where was the commander's office? I don't even remember now. 
I just know it was up here somewhere. Oh, it's you. I got worried when the door opened. I'm glad I found you. These creatures have taken over the cruiser. You're the first person I've seen since this all started. Rescue's on its way, but it's probably a good idea to get out of here. You can access the escape pods down in the core sector. There's a key card on my desk. You'll need it to access the elevator. Good luck. Don't worry, Commander. I will protect you with this barricade. Your texture is uh, a little bit backwards there. You know what? I think this is that point in the video where I go, fuck it. This is no longer a first impressions, this is an LP. Because this mod is too short. No, you aren't one of the <laughs> Whoops. I didn't think it would let me shoot him. Shotgun empty? So, why exactly did everyone who wasn't actually on the ship turn into a zombie, but was on the ship? Like, we only saw, like, one room in the other ship. Hey, you. You have to overload the core. I was going to, but they got to me before I could. Oh. You won't need to access the core to overload it. If you haven't already taken it, there is some ammo on the table. I just wish I could be more of a help. Well, that seemed to have scared them off, killing two of their companions. Dramatic 360! I'm solving puzzles. No, somebody brought an evil this thing back to the ship. It's the cause of all our problems. How do I get out of this room? <laughs> what? Um... Button? <laughs> okay. I don't know what that button did. Hey, you. You have to the core.
I assumed pressing that button would stop the thing from killing me, but it didn't actually seem to do anything at all. And we can't rely on Barry to come save us. Oh, there's one on each side. Again, why would there ever be a button that says overload core? Well, security is enabled, so apparently we can't overload the core. I hear zombies mumbling behind this wall. So that's it then. I'm just trapped in this room forever. Fuck it, we're doing it live. Um, is there a button I gotta press down here? the ship blew up and everybody died. So how did those end up in a radioactive sludge swamp? Guys, I think that might be one of the crystals from the ship. Just, you know, bear with me here. I, I think that might be what they're trying to say by very slowly panning around this. Alright, well, that's HMS Defiance. It's a pretty silly, short little mod. Doesn't really make much sense, but clearly somebody wanted to make a mod, so they did. It's pretty bad, but again, not offensively so.
kind of eh. And there are dozens and dozens of Half-Life mods of this quality. But uh, I believe there is an HMS Defiance 2. If I remember correctly. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire. This is HMS Defiance. And I'll see you all again some other time.